You guys are dead. Women power! Strong female character! And I'm wearing green! Whoa! He's bad looking. He's badass looking. Dungeons and Dragons! Shadow over Mistara! Mistara? I think my son knows somebody who could correct me there if I'm wrong. In fact, I am certain I know somebody. I have never heard of Dungeons and Dragons Shadow over Mistara. Okay, so do I want to be the elf, the thief, or the fighter, the cleric? Should I be the cleric, the dwarf? I, I want to be, I want to be, the, or, the, or the magic. I want to be, I want to be the elf. That, that was the, that was the, yeah, so I should be the elf. I'm going to be the elf. All right, let's be the elf. I think the elf's a chick, so that's fine. I'm, I'm an open-minded, I'm an open-minded, progressive, uh, adult male, modern male. <laughs> All of a sudden, I've got Bill Murray in my head. If you think Boomer Dum Dum's technical difficulties caused you to miss any content of significance, you would be sadly mistaken. Am I done? Please enter your name. Uh, uh, well, okay, BD. We'll be BD. Yes, yes. No, it, it no, it, it's 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 a name. It's also yes. It, it does it does sound like a disease, but it, but it's just actually it should have been BDP. That sounds like a motor oil. And what happened? Well, I was suffering from BD, but then when I got it, I had to go change the oil so I had to get the BDP. This is what happens when you have no idea what you except for the village of Trintan. I'm in the village of Trintan now. Looks like. Uh, now why is it I swing twice and then I and then I flip backwards? Or was I Okay. Nobody knows. Oh, it looks like I can just okay, it looks like I can just hit Oh, okay. So now now I know what I'm doing. I just have to button mash. There we go. There we go. You guys are dead, right? You guys are dead. You guys are dead. Women power! Strong female character! And I'm wearing green! Wow! Like, you know, Boomer Dad, Boomer Dad should be getting some, some serious ESG points here. Strong female characters in green attire. I've got Julia Roberts pointing the way. She did play, she played Tinkerbell, right? She probably doesn't like that, that she played Tinkerbell. Uh, apparently she wasn't very fun when she was playing Tinkerbell. I think that was when she was, when she was, uh, uh, in the process of, of you know, when, when she was when she was getting engaged and then divorced her to uh, to every everybody that she was in a movie with, uh, Kiefer Sutherland, and then and then she with Lyle Lovett. Uh, did she? I think she wound up with Lyle Lovett. I go go figure that one out. Go figure that one out. And, but uh, yeah, so Julia Roberts was was always engaged to who? Who is Julia Roberts engaged to? Well, what was the last movie she was in? Okay, well that's that's whoever she's on the poster with. That was, uh, she was, she was testing that out as her, as her wedding photos. Listen to me. I have no idea what I'm doing. It looks like I'm doing well here, except for this thing that's about to come. Look, see, I've, I've got the, I've got the hair thing going on. Oh, I think that was like a power thing. But no, all I gotta do is just button mash here, right? Just gotta hear. Okay. I guess, oh, 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 yeah. You're not gonna play fair, are you? Well, I'll just. I'll just be over here dying. Yeah, I got, I got, I got it going here. Yeah, there we go. I hit you again, right? And now I got, ah, I did, die. did I die that time? There we go. I died again. I'm going to have to continue because I'm not done with my Julia Roberts story because I got a Julia Roberts story too. Uh, it's not last time. One of the last times, maybe. When I said I was almost Chris O'Donnell, uh, that has nothing to do with my Julia Roberts story. Uh, it's really not a Julia Roberts story. There was a bar in Los Angeles called Bergen's. Tim Bergen's? Tom Bergen's? Tim Bergen's. There was Molly Malone's. Was it Molly Malone's? Or what? I forget. There are Irish bars in LA and they were really cool. And one of the Irish bars that I went to, even though I didn't drink, yeah, go figure that one out. If you do, you've got about 700 other things you can figure out about me. So I would go to this bar and drink Diet Pepsis. And it was an Irish bar, it was a great place, but Kiefer Sutherland and Julia Roberts, when they were a thing, would, would, would frequent the place when they were in town. 
So one night, so uh, one one night I'm in there and and Kiefer Sutherland sitting sitting at the bar. So I go and I sit next to Kiefer Sutherland. This is my Julia Roberts story, and that was as far as Julia Roberts got. So I sat down next to Kiefer Sutherland and I and I talked to Kiefer Sutherland for a while, and he and he uh, he told me a dirty joke with uh, with a napkin, and uh, and then um, and that was it. And I was in town to be an actor, and at that point, I was trying to write screenplays and everything. And I sat next to Kiefer Sutherland, and just talked to him, and didn't pitch him on anything. And I didn't know better at that time. I mean, he's he's got a little bit of clout, or he had a little bit of clout at the time. But you, you know, I did the actors. Actors just have no, they just don't have any say in that town. They don't. Which is which is why what's going on right now is just so so sad because you've got a lot of actors that just don't know any better. That's why they used to have. That's why they have managers. And they have people handling them. Actors are just they're not good in public. They just aren't. Or at least at least a lot of these guys that are just they're getting into trouble. And the people that are pushing them out there to get them into trouble, I believe, know what they're doing. And so they're basically taking these 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 young people that are just trying to earn a living. I mean, it, you know, the, the fact that they're, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. They're still just, just trying to eat like everybody else is. And and they're going out thinking that they're doing their job or they're thinking that their fame and their fortune is going to last for a long time. And especially the women, the, 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 the younger women that are embroiled in a lot of this stuff right now. They, they, they're in a town that... They're in a town that's going to that's going to chew them up and spit them out as soon as they show a single wrinkle. And they they can tell you what they want to in the in the in the in the press, but nope. That is that is that is that town. I've lived in that town. I've worked in that town. Uh, my wife has lived in that town and really worked in that town. My wife was a, my wife was a writer for TV uh, back in the back in the in the the, the late eighties. And early 90s. So she was there. She was there when all the women, hey Hollywood, Hollywood, you're so you're so enlightened. She was with there when all the women that were writing, that were trying to that were that would write screenplays, had to put their initials. They couldn't put their first names on because women didn't write movies back then. And that's not speculation. I know people that lived there that worked in, in that town. Back in the day, I'm not talking about now. I have no idea, but that I wouldn't even recognize that town now. But I was never. I was there trying to break into stuff, and I, you know, I worked with. I, I worked on a couple of things and whatever, and who cares? But my wife worked in the industry on both ends of it, on the administrative side of it, and on the and on the on the artistic side of it. That town, the last thing that town is, is kind-hearted. Genteel, out for the good guy, for the little guy. They like to they they like to tell stories that make them money. At least they used to. They don't even like they don't even do that anymore. So, <laughs> so Boomer Dad plays. Boomer Dad plays, and he won't be playing in California anytime soon. Uh, yeah. So I uh, so yeah. I think I finished all my stories, and you still don't know why uh, how I was almost Chris O'Donnell, but you'll probably never know that, and it's not that interesting. But I hope the rest of your day is interesting, and whatever's left of it, I hope it's fantastic.